Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. This is Jason Chats and my name is Jason Newland. So, oh my God, where's my hair gone? Oh, I'm sweating. I just had a, a bath, so I shaved my head off. I did shave my head off, I shaved my hair off and my sideburns aren't the right level my beard one's a little bit lower than the other and uh, then I had a bath and I feel like I've been in a sauna really just like oh anyway um, I'm trying to do these regular Jason chats again like maybe once a week just as uh, an update on the free hypnosis service that I that I that I provide. The last time the the last uh, Jason chats was just over a week ago. It was a Saturday. Um, have a quick drink. So the latest really is, <coughs> excuse me, I have, how many do I have? Four new websites added on to the ones I had before. So I've now got in total um, 10 websites. And I'm not even gonna try and read them all to you because I can't remember. There's a Jason, jasonnewland.com, deepsleepwhisper.com, letmeboreyoutosleep.com, uh, um, uh, sleephypnosisweekly.com, stressanxietyhypnosis.com, so that's five, um, free sleephypnosis.com, free chronicpainhypnosis.com, free mp3s dot, no, free hypnosis mp3s.com, uh, free stop smoking course.com, and, and, free relaxation hypnosis.com that's it it's got 10 websites uh, so it's costing a fair bit each month so each uh, I've got a WordPress I use WordPress I use GoDaddy and I've got each five bundle of websites uh, costs me 20 21, 22 pound a month, something like that. Yeah, about 21 pound a month. So there's two of them, two bundles of 10. So that's 42 pound a month. Plus my main website is with uh, Shopify because I'm hoping in the future to sell stuff as well as the free things. I'd like to have a few kind of courses and bits like that that I'll sell, books maybe. That costs me 30 pounds a month, or 32 pounds a month for the Shopify. Um, on the jasonnewland.com, every single episode that I have is on there, all the MP3s. Not all the videos though, so I need to start putting all the videos on there as well. But all the MP3s, and every video has an MP3 version of it, apart from the Jason chats. And it's just kind of adding up a bit. The other thing I've got is I've got a new app. I'm ever so excited. So I had an app before for the hypnotic buffet. And then I, start, I stopped doing the hypnotic buffet for some reason. I can't remember the reason. And I think I probably took advice from someone and uh, 
which I've got to stop doing. I've got, I've got to keep my focus on what this is about. And uh, I'm once I got, I remember I closed the whole YouTube account down and put all the videos onto a website hoping to get I don't know, donations or something to try and help me so I kind of got that balance I'm trying to I, I'm offering a free service and which I love doing but also you know I've still got I've got a belly here that needs to be filled every day and bills that need to be paid you know it's like anyone else like you like everybody got electric gas water you know all that stuff so it's kind of trying to balance it so that I can eventually at the moment I'm on unemployment benefits so I'm getting enough to live on getting enough just enough to pay my bills and any kind of extra income not extra income but any anything that's left over after paying bills I pay on this stuff I pay for this uh, so I don't go out I don't get, obviously I don't get haircuts shave my own hair still wearing the same t-shirt from four years ago I do wash it I don't wear it every day it's clean but you know so I don't um, I don't live an extravagant life but I guess most people don't I guess but and part of the reason I can do this is because I'm used to doing it because I spent nearly 14 years doing this spending out the money for podcasts and websites and stuff like that so it kind of just comes naturally to just uh, that's as important as paying a bill for me more important really but paying a bill is, is you know obviously more important because you know I've got to, got to live and I've got to have somewhere to live and stuff um, what do you feel about my chin? I'm sure I used to have more chins than this. I'm sure I kind of, I think I lost a bit of weight on my chin. <laughs> the rest of me, maybe not, but on my chin, I think I lost a bit of weight. So, uh, which is good. Because I think, I'm sure at one point I used to have like that five chins, like boo boo boo, like that. Uh, not, not at the moment, I think, unless, it's just the camera angle, I don't know. So, what I've done is, I still, it's weird, I think I look weird with glasses on. I don't know why. I think it's because these are tinted glasses. So when there's sh light shining on them, I think they go a little bit darker and I just look a bit, I don't know. I did a video yesterday, like a live stream, and I, f I was thinking, ugh. But then, are we supposed to like the way we look? <laughs> I mean, you know, I just, I don't hate the way I look. I just don't kind of like, oh, I don't know. It's kind of, it's the aging process. I mean, I'm 49 in three weeks, less than three weeks. So at the end of August, I'm 49 years old. So I think I'm doing all right, actually. For 49, nearly 50, I'm doing all right. I've still got most of my own teeth. Oh, two missing teeth. But the rest of my, my teeth are there. Uh, what else? Gray hair. Now, I shaved my hair today, and it's it's the same every time I shave my hair, hair off. And I've got a friend who does it sometimes for me as well. And even he's surprised at how, how little gray there is. Because when when it's when it's on my head, when it's attached, it's like little clumps of grey, like at the front. But when you actually cut it off and you look at it, it's not like pure black. Um, well, I've all got dark brown hair anyway, but it's I would say, and I'm probably exaggerating, but it's you know, I would say it's less than ten percent grey in my hair when it's like hairy. Well, I've got hairy hair. I could have showed you, but I've just got rid of all the hair. It's gone. I did actually think about shaving Andre. I know it's terrible, because I know it's, it's would be a wrong thing to do. But I just came out of the bathroom, and I just shaved my head, and I had this thing in my hand. 
and I was looking at him and he was just lying there looking at me and I think he was laughing. I think he was like internally laughing, like saying, baldy, baldy, you are a baldy. And I thought, I'm a baldy, am I? What about you? What's it gonna be like for you? Because I've seen him when he's wet and he does look like a little rat. Now I don't like people calling him a rat because he's, he's a ferret and he's the love of my life and I don't like people because no one says, oh, he, he's a rat in a nice way, <laughs> they, you know, it's and I know that a lot of people love rats, um, but generally when people call or they, they refer to him as a rat, they're being rude. Not many people say that, but I had a couple in the past, and um, of course I had to bury them. Got blisters on my hands, but um, that's what he would look like if I shaved him, shaved all his fur, well his his coat off. Obviously, it would be it would be animal cruelty, so I wouldn't do it. But he shouldn't laugh at me, should he? So, oh yeah, the good thing. I've got an app for the Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Podcast. So this app it's for Android phones, and I actually got it first. Yeah, it was a week ago today that I actually purchased it. So it cost me $99 plus a fee to Google Play um, uh, to put it onto there. And the good thing about this is I don't have to do anything. It's basically, I use Spreaker as a platform for my podcasts, for all 45 of them. And I've got, as I probably mentioned before, I've got a handful that are really popular or the most popular and Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis is the most popular out of all of the podcasts that I currently have and because uh, all my podcasts together I've got about 347 thousand downloads since November so I should have half a million by the end of the year which is alright and then next year hopefully I'll get a million and then the following year, maybe five million. That's what I'm kind of aiming for. And so what I've done is, via Spreaker, I've paid for them to produce an app, an Android app, which they've done. And now it's, they've done all the processing and now it's, um, it was pending on the uh, Play, console, uh, Google Play console for about three days. And now today, bang, it's available. It's live. So I promoted it a little bit, stuck it on Facebook, Twitter. I put it onto the uh, deepsleepwhisper.com website. Um, so I'm just really pleased. It's because I had the let me I had the other app before and I did get quite a few people join, but um, I only ended up doing thirty one episodes of the hypnotic buffet. But this deep sleep one, I've got one hundred and twenty seven, I think, episodes and I've or podcasts or recordings, whatever you want to call them. And I've been doing it for quite a while since last year, I think. Yeah, have I? Anyway, so it's available for people to download as onto your Android phone or your Android tablet, or possibly even your laptop. I don't know if Google Chrome, possibly Chromebook. So that's cool. Um, I don't know how many people have actually downloaded the app yet because. Um, the stats don't uh, renew it. The the stats don't just does, they won't show till tomorrow, so I'll be able to see what happened today tomorrow. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, I'd like to get an iOS Apple app as well, which I think is just, it might be the same price or a little bit more, but there's some technical work I have to do, so I don't. I'm 
going to have to kind of figure out how to do that first. Plus, it's it's another expense. So, I mean, luckily it's ninety nine dollars, but it's for the whole year. So that works out what two pound a week or two dollars a week. So, you know, it's not too bad. Um, I'd like to get the Apple app and the Android app, have them both on the website for the main podcasts. So for the Let Me Boy to Sleep as well, the uh, Sleep Hypnosis Weekly and the Stress, well, hip, Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks, which is becoming one of my most, most popular podcasts as well. But that's... It's, you know, it's a bit of money to pay out, but it's if I can reach more people, help more people, that is the bottom line, really. I mean, I'll, I'll eat beans on toast, you know, if, if I have to, if that's the only way for me to, well, I don't think that's gonna work, is that? I'm gonna phone, I'm gonna email Sprig and say, can I, have a, <laughs> can I have another app, please? I've got no money, but I will eat beans on toast. I don't mean that way, I mean, you know, if I can find a way to cut down. Um, but I'm not gonna sit in here during the winter without the heating on. I'm not, not prepared to go that far. You know, I've gotta keep myself warm. Uh, the other thing is I started using the promotion on Spreaker as well. I did that the last few days. So I've got five episodes across my podcasts that are being promoted uh, by Spreaker and they, they charge for, anyway, you can basically you spend as much money as you want. So I've got each one down for a dollar a day uh, to be promoted and each dollar gives me 500 uh, impressions. I don't mean like, oh, uh, you know, kind of, what the hell? That's an impression of Richard Pryor. Um, I don't mean like impressions, impressions or paintings or anything. I mean, uh, I guess impressions is when it, the advert shows. Yeah, and the advert would be like a like a radio advert, I guess. And if people listen to it, then I get some money come in. I guess. But actually, they could also listen to it. You hear that noise? That's the chip shop. Chip shop van. The chip, the chip shop van. The chip, chip, shit. The chip shop man in a chip shop van. And uh, it's great if you wanna, if you want a runny tummy. Run down to the chip shop van. Because last time I had a runny tummy and it was. Nah. Not doing that. Thanks. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, what's really weird, it's annoying me a little bit today because uh, on an average day now, I hit over 2,000 downloads. Usually, it's, now it's getting up towards 3,000 daily. But anywhere, like between about 2,500 is about average now, daily. And today, after released an app and I've got five advert promotions promoting you know five different podcast episodes so each of those should give me 500 uh, like downloads or plays so that's five one five two so that's two and a half thousand just for them and I'm at one, 1,200 for the day. And there's still, a, still another five hours left before you know, the day, because it, it cuts off at two o'clock in, in the morning. And I don't know what the time is now, but it's about nine o'clock to 10, 11, 12, one, two, so five hours. So it's possibly still gonna get over 2,000, but I'm thinking, just like I'm paying money to try and to reach more people. And maybe I don't need to be paying that money if I'm getting those people when I don't pay the money. 
I don't understand it. But it's all trial and error. Um, another thing I'm looking into is uh, a monetization of podcasts. I'm doing a little bit of studying along that lines. But I'm really pleased. I'm not, I, regardless of the stats, I'm, I'm pleased that I got that app. Uh, I think there might be a little bit of work to do on it and I need to do a little bit of tinkering. But it's working fine. All the latest episodes are there, updated. So if you do down, if you, if you like the Deep Sleep Whisper hypnosis sessions, and just go to, in fact, I'll put the, the link for the app in this video. Uh, but also just go to, what is it called? I don't know, deepsleepwhisper.com, that website, and the, the app, basically on the first page, you can just click on the, the uh, download app thing and then it'll be yours it's free it's free of course and you can just listen to all of the back like catalog and all of the new stuff when you know and I, I make new ones every sometimes I do one every day sometimes I do them every few days you know it depends because I'm, I'm juggling quite a few different things you know building a website uh, making recordings for different podcasts as well as promoting um, as well. So there's a lot, you know, there's quite a lot to do. Uh, but yeah, it's good. So I'm quite pleased with how it's going. So I'm gonna leave ya. I would have got Andre out, but he's asleep. I don't wanna disturb him when he's asleep. Uh, Cause he gets a little bit ratty with me, <laughs> ratty. He gets a little bit annoyed with me. Uh, which is fair enough. No one likes being disturbed when they're asleep, do they? So I'm gonna go, I shall see you later. And thank you for listening. Lots of love. I just realized that there is, in the corner of the screen, there's a door with a T-shirt hanging on it. And I purposely sat this side of the room or this side of the table so that you didn't see the t-shirts the hanging up on the uh, curtain rail. <sighs> I do my best to be professional, you know. Actually, I don't do my best. I mildly give it a go. Anyway, I'm gonna go, thank you, see you later. And I'm gonna press that stop button. Bye.